Um, I just said to Browner, you know, you're holding a grudge against the Bears over a player, and people who are listening are probably like, Kaplan, you're like the worst grudge holder there is. You know, like here you love Jim Harbaugh. You've talked about how much you love Jim Harbaugh, and yet you're still not back on the Charger bandwagon. And yet here the Chargers came for minicamp to Camp Pendleton, something that they would normally do when they were the San Diego Chargers. Right. But as the L.A. Chargers, they've not stepped foot into San Diego County. They've not they've acted as if San Diego doesn't even exist. And I suspect this is just a guess that Harbaugh walks to the door and goes, well, how come we're not like. Like, how come we don't still deal with San Diego? Like, what's the deal? And then somebody, the Spanos goes, oh, dude, you don't even understand. When we left, it was ugly. It was really bad. And so here we're watching video right now of Jim Harbaugh walking onto the track at a field at Camp Pendleton. And mm-hmm. there's Dean Spanos standing right next to him. And I don't know, you know, who the, the military gentleman is in between the two of them. But I suppose Dean felt safe enough coming back into San Diego County when he was in the northernmost part of San Diego County, <laughs> and he was protected by guys with guns and tanks and military helicopters and who knows what else. What did you make of the Chargers uh, stepping foot into San Diego County? Uh, you, you notice that he just kind of dipped his toe over the county line there. He was a <laughs> star inside. Burley. Yeah. <laughs> Burley. Right. He ain't going back to La Jolla. Nah, <laughs> Definitely not Mission Valley. Yeah. Uh-uh. Well, uh, I do think it's not an accident that they're making this trip now with Harbaugh as their head coach. You know, Harbaugh obviously has a connection to San Diego. He coached the University of San Diego where he had success. He played in San Diego for the Chargers as a player. And so, um, you know, his his name is recognizable in the city and people have um, an affinity for him uh, as a player and as a coach. Um, And he's a winner. Uh, and so I think because of that, maybe he is a player that could bridge the gap for some old Charger fans. I don't think for everyone. I think there's still going to be fans that um, understandably hold a grudge, you know, because of the way things went down and that their team is in Los Angeles and not in San Diego. As a guy that grew up in Seattle, I still hold a grudge that the Sonics hurt in Oklahoma <laughs> City and not Seattle. I mean, that's the team I rooted for. Growing up, it was my favorite team growing up. And so that's, that's you know, that's not going away. And I think for a lot of people in San Diego, understandably, it's not going away that, you know, the are in Los Angeles. However, for people that are fans of Harbaugh and what he did at the University of San Diego and as a player for the Chargers, I think it's a way to kind of bridge the gap for some of those people that want to get back onto the bandwagon. Our fans of Justin Herbert – and 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 are still interested. It's so funny you say that because uh, this past Saturday night I was at a party, and um, I was standing there, and there were these folks, and and uh, somebody introduced us, and they said, "Hey, uh, Scott, meet Suzanne or whatever her name was, and meet Steve or whatever his name was." And um, and he, he introduced, "Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you." And this guy who introduced us goes. Scott Kaplan from, you know, you've been on the radio in town for forever. And this lady goes like this to me. She goes, Oh, you hate the chargers. And I'm like, <laughs> I go, Oh, why? And she goes, well, cause we still love the chargers and we go to charger games every weekend at SoFi stadium. And we, we never gave up on the chargers like you did. And so, so it turned into a whole thing mm. where eventually I was like, excuse me, I'm going to go to the bar for a quick second, you know? <laughs> um, and, and I just, I do, I do think you're right. I mean, I think that, that Harbaugh, if he, because of his history in San Diego, as a player for the Chargers, even though they were terrible, and as a coach for USD, where they were really good and he put them on the map. You know, Eric, me and Billy Ray used to do this, and it was Billy Ray's show, but it was a Chargers show on Channel 4 San Diego back in the day. Mm-hmm. And I was always, I did one segment a week on that show, and then we would bring Harbaugh in for a segment on the show. And it was me, Billy Ray, and Jim at the charger facility overlooking practice shooting this show. And so he has a sense of San Diego, not to mention he's got a house down in Coronado. He's Mm -hmm. got close friends in San Diego. It wouldn't surprise me if Jim Harbaugh is saying to Dean, it's time to try and repair the relationship with San Diego. Why are you letting the Rams have that market? Why are you just (laughs) waving a white flag? Here's, here's Harbaugh yesterday at camp Pendleton, addressing the crowd. Alex, why don't you play that video for Eric? If you guys can't understand, you can just tell me to cut it off. Okay. We are blown away. It's so incredible. It's an incredible pleasure. 
really here to uh, honor your honor, your, your commitment, your, your courage. You are heroes, heroes to us. And heroes, heroes don't get any day off. I want to say that uh, all the young, young people here, I grew up as a, with a with dad, dad as a football, football coach. I coached coach 40, 40 years, years as a colonel's dad, dad football, football coach, coach 45, 45 years. years. Your, 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 your moms, moms and dads, dads are heroes. heroes. And, and uh, uh, I got a guy, guy here that can speak to that. Morgan Fox, our star defense tackle. He grew up in the military base himself. Incredible honor to be here. Can't wait to yeah, having a little bit of a hard time because of the echo, but um, yeah. yeah, I mean, listen, Jim Harbaugh, he's he's that sort of guy, you know. He, I don't think the Chargers had a coach like this that when he shows up and he commands the room. My opinion, since Marty Schottenheimer, because mm-hmm. because Eric, when Marty would show up, because back in the day when the Chargers were trying to recruit Orange County and they were trying to recruit business in Orange County, they take Marty on this dog and pony show. They'd invite me and Billy Ray to go. Um, so that we could kind of speak to the crowd as well. Marty would get into a crowd, and man, he owned that crowd. And Jim Harbaugh is that kind of character to me. Yeah, he's a man in presence. You know, he has that presidential feel to him when you see him. Um, I had a chance to go to practice yesterday, and the precision of the way practice was 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 run uh, was was unique. You know, again, kind of reminding of Pete Carroll a little bit and how he runs practice in terms of the energy that you see from a, a mini camp practice, which is, which is usually a little low key and laid back because you're kind of easing guys in. There was no easing guys in, in that practice were going like, uh, like they were getting ready for a game. Um, so it was interesting to see that. And, uh, and you're right. I, I, I think, you know, there's a reason you're paying Harbaugh what you're paying. Him. It's for what you just saw and his ability to connect uh, with people, uh, you know, that are fans of the team. And, and I think, Part of that is going to be trying to connect with with people in San Diego again and again, trying to bridge that gap for for some of the fans that are still interested.